Hello, hello, hello. How are you guys doing this evening? <laughs> okay, this is like my sixth or seventh time trying to film this video. I just took the dogs outside. It is raining in Indianapolis this evening and they were running around in the rain and then they came inside and they started running after each other and playing. And so they've been running around each other while I've been trying to film these videos and they finally settled down. So, okay, I'm gonna get into this video. This is another haul video. I decided that I'm gonna start <laughs> just showing haul bit. I go to the grocery store. It's a grocery store haul. I do this. I order something from Amazon. It's an Amazon haul. Anyway, I'm just going to show anything that I get over here. Why not? <laughs> you know what I mean? Anyway, I have a couple things I want to show. I just got back from the Meyer. So let me tell you the story of why I'm actually doing this video. No, I'm not going to do a haul every time I go to the grocery store. So I went to the Meyer right here you can see and um, I bought some things and the reason that I was going to the Meyer is in this bag and I will explain that in just a second. But then I got home and I was like, I want to use some of the things that I bought from Meyer and maybe some of the things that I got from Amazon. So I was like, should I do a video showing all this stuff? Like, why not? Why not? And then tomorrow I'll make the requested video, which is the reason why I went to Amazon to begin with. Well, I also needed to get Diet Coke. So hold on a second. Let me make a little thumbnail here for you. So you guys can see all the, here we go put the Meyer bag in it <laughs> okay so here's the deal <laughs> here's the, here's the story morning glory I went to Meyer because I wanted to get these graham crackers okay I told this story on my vlog many times about how my mom when I was a kid would make me this snack there's more to it than just this there's more of a story to it than this but she would make me this snack sometimes of graham crackers and white frosting. So Troy, who watches all of my videos, and he's so nice. I love you, Troy. You're just, he's always one of the first people to comment. And he comments several times on my videos, and he's so supportive. So anyway, he was like, will you make a video on your Peter Does Stuff channel making the uh, graham cracker and frosting cookies that your mom used to make, and then tell the story about your mom at the same time? So I'm going to do that. That will probably be tomorrow or Monday on this channel. But I wanted to go to Meyer to get that. Well, while I was there... I did some other shopping. I purchased this thing, which I can't show you right now. <laughs> it was $4.99, and I'm going to do a review of it on my review channel. I just kind of came upon it, and I was like, came upon it? I just came across it, and I was like, oh, this would be cool to review over my review channel. So I'm going to review that. has something to do with beauty. <laughs> but then I bought some candle waxes, because you all know I love the candle waxes. So I bought, hold on a second. Okay, I bought, y'all know I'm obsessed with honey right now, the smell of honey, honey scented candles, honey scented lotion, that might be in the Amazon box, we're going to see in just a second. I got Spice Market, and this is from Tuscany Candle, I love, so uh, my husband's out of town for the weekend, he is in Chicago for a music festival with a bunch of his friends, and so it's bachelor weekend here in the house of Mon, and um, I'm going to put a bunch of, we have like two candle wax machines, two candle wax machines, a candle burner in the kitchen, and then a bunch of new candles. And I'm gonna light them all and get the house smelling really warm and toasty and all kinds of fallish. And so um, I got Spice Market, which smells so good. I expected it to smell like uh, pumpkin and apple, but it smells more like clove, like, yeah, like clove and other kind of like spices like that. It's really, really good. I love this one. Okay. And then I also got um, cinnamon churro. I stand there and I go, do you guys go through and smell each one? Oh, God. That's what Tanya and Jean and I do at the Meyer late at night. So I got cinnamon churro. This is uh, by Fusion. I love the Fusion ones. They have some spa smelling ones that are really, really good. And this one just smells like really strong cinnamon, like cinnamon stick. And then I also found this from Tuscany Candles, which is apple and honey. And, I've been, and I bought two of these because I've been, you know, into the honey lately. Oh, it smells so good. It smells like a hint of apple, but it really smells strong with honey. So this will be the one that I'm using tonight. So those are the things that I bought at the Meyer. And uh, let me put these back in here. Clean up as you go. Right, Boo Radley? Right, Tucker? Okay, they're so excited about our bachelor weekend. <laughs> okay, 
So I just wanted to show some new things that I got um, at from Teddy Fresh. I, can't, I ordered all this stuff and it's like coming a little bit at a time. So the other day, I have to show this. Uh, when I showed the stuff that I got, the Jerry Garcia stuff, somebody commented on it and said, um, don't throw away the tags because you get a guitar pick with it. And I was like, oh my God, I totally forgot about that, right? And I wanted to give the guitar pick to... Um, my cousin's son, because he's a musician, and I remember that when I ordered it, that there was a guitar pick that came on it. So I went over and I looked on the stuff that I got, and right here you can see there is a guitar pick on it, which on one side, ha it's like tie-dye, and on one side it has Teddy Fresh, on the other side it says Teddy Fresh and uh, Garcia, and it's really cool. And it says on here, co-founder of the Grateful Dead and legendary icon of hippie culture, Jerry Garcia was, I can hardly read it, the living embodiment of love, peace, and the uh, search for a new truth. As a boundary-transforming songwriter, genre-defining instrumentalist, and a quasi-spiritual inspiration to a generation, his life and his work continue to guide lovers of art and artists of love worldwide. I love that. If you guys read the book called Dark Star, and I think it's called Dark Star, a oral autobiography uh or oral biography of jerry garcia it's really good it's with like gracie grace slick i'm um, from jefferson starship and chris christopherson and they lived with jerry garcia at one point and like in a communal setting in san francisco like in the hate and uh, it talks in there about how jerry garcia like practiced like 12 hours a day on a classical guitar and um if you like a 12 string guitar if you guys don't know what that is anyway um and he just like it goes to show, like, when you read that book, that it didn't just happen by luck, you know, that most people that get famous, except for today, unless you're a TikToker, you know, or something, most people that get famous, like, they really practice their art and their craft, and I love that about anybody. But then I ordered this shirt, which I haven't ordered yet. I just noticed that Ethan Klein on H3H3, H3, he had this shirt on. So I got this shirt. It's absolutely beautiful. The cotton is so soft, and this is the shirt that I got. And they have this in purple and pink as well, but I just got it in green. Love that. And I also ordered, I, I, you guys, I'm loving her stuff. And it fits perfectly, and it looks so cute on. Um, so I also ordered two Valora shirts. Did I get order just one or two? I ordered black and I think green, because it comes black, green, and purple. And then this is the other shirt that I got, and I love this. This is like tie-dye, and this fits perfectly. So... I've got an entire new wardrobe from Teddy Fresh, and I'm loving the stuff. All of it is, like, such high quality, you guys. I mean, the shirts are so incredibly soft. And then I bought a case of Diet Coke <laughs> at the Meyer. I meant I wanted to go to Costco because it's so much cheaper at Costco. I know people are going to be like, Diet Coke is so bad for you. I know it is. I know it is. Um, okay, so let's tr open the Amazon boxes. I have two Amazon boxes. I have this one. I, ha I, don't, I have no idea what's in here because... Ah! The other day, I ordered a bunch of stuff on Amazon, like candles and stuff like that. So, which one should I open first? The big one? The big one's lighter. This is like on Christmas. Like, which one should I open first? Okay. So, let's open the lighter one first. I don't remember everything that I ordered. Okay. So, the, the first thing that I ordered is this candle accessories pack. I thought, well, it's time that you order this. My mom used to use a candle snuffer. Is that what it's called? You guys know what I'm talking about? This has one of them in there. Um, and they, this comes in two different colors. I bought it in, um, I bought it in black. So it comes with this little tool right here. This was like $15.99. And I believe this is to kind of like clean out the wax in like an area where like your, uh, the wick has gone down too low. I believe that's what this is for. I could be wrong. If you know, put it in the comment section below. I'll show you what I really got it for though. Is, um, I can't believe I haven't had one up to this point. So here is a candle snuffer. I actually have a bunch of these around the house that my mom used to have. Hers were like longer. Um, and she has some like pewter ones and some brass ones and they're really nice. But I got this one because they'll fit in the drawer. And then I got a candle wick cutter. Now, this is the reason that I bought it. I w and, and honestly, this like alone was like $8.99, so I was like, I'm just going to buy the whole kit. But um, my candle wicks get really long, and I use like scissors, and I thought, you know, this is better. If I'm like a professional candle person, I should probably get this. So that's what I got. Okay. So that's that. Okay. When my mom passed away, she, I've talked about this on here before. She had um, a candle, 
in the kitchen and it was like Cabernet. It started just pouring down rain again. Can you hear it? She had like a Cabernet candle or like a Merlot or something. Some kind of wine scent. And although I'm sober and I don't drink wine, obviously, I do like the smell. Um, so I looked online and there was these candles and it's called Argentinian Malbec Crew Candle Company. And this is the box that it comes in. Argentinian Malbec, the high altitudes, um, altitudes and dry climate of the Argentinian Andes create the perfect conditions. Did you guys ever see that movie about the soccer team and the Andes? Oh my God, Alive, I think it was called. Create the perfect conditions to develop the full-bodied, chocolatey scent of Malbec. Juicy red fruit notes and tobacco are the perfect complements to a crisp mountain evening. And my husband actually, if he drinks wine, he drinks a Malbec, which I know nothing about. Because when I drank wine, I drank it, you know, the, ooh, look, it's really strong. Um, I drank the cheap wine that came with, you know, a gallon with the, 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 what do you call it, the handle on the side or a box of wine, which we would take the bag out of. So this comes in like this little, it's like an old, um, like a wine bottle that's like cut down and it doesn't smell anything like wine. It smells like tobacco and I don't, I, to be honest with you, I don't really like the smell of this. It smells like tobacco and like oak or something. It smells like a library, but like, like a, a library where they smoke a lot of cigars. I don't, this is, I would say I don't like this. <laughs> we might re-gift this one. <laughs> Let me put it back in the box. Yeah, I'm not in love with that one. Okay. Well, that makes me kind of sad because I was excited about that. But you know what? You, what you get, you don't profit, like my mother-in-law says. Okay. Here is the other box that I opened. All right. I bought like three honey candles. Okay. And this one is from Root American Made Candles. This one was kind of expensive, I remember. And it's called Drizzling Honey. It doesn't smell, it smells good. It smells like lilacs. It doesn't smell like honey. That's so weird. It says drizzling honey. There's nothing else on it. And that you can see it's like honeycomb. Hmm. Interesting. It doesn't smell like honey, but I'm gonna burn it anyway. I'm gonna put it right over here. We'll burn it. We'll see what we think about it. So those are the things that I got. And um, tomorrow, come over and, I'll be using my tools tonight. Tomorrow, come over and um, check out my video that I'm going to do about the, uh, what do you call it? The um, clean up as you go. Tomorrow, I'm going to do the video about the uh, graham crackers and the frosting. And listen, if you have any recommendations for videos in the comment section below or things you'd like to see me do or things you'd like me to talk about, let me know. There's actually a video that I've been really wanting to do for a long time. So my mom, she passed away in 08, in May of 08, and I have not heard my mom speak since she passed away. Um, I don't have like recordings of her, I don't have voice messages left of her, nothing like that. My cousin, I had mentioned that to her, God, it's been like three or four years ago now, I think, three years maybe, and she said she had a copy of her wedding, um, like videotape that, you know, like people get copies of their wedding and she had an extra one and she was like, do you want it? Because my mom read at my cousin's wedding. Um, she read the part in Corinthians about love. It was like one of my mom's favorite parts of the Bible. So she read the part about love and, and um, you know, the part where it says in love is the greatest of them all. Anyway, so I have yet to listen to that videotape and I've kind of been saving it because it's surreal to me that I haven't listened to my mom's or heard my mom's voice since 08. Um, so I was thinking about maybe doing that this weekend. I might do that video this weekend. We'll see. So anyway, um, I hope that you guys are having a fantastic weekend, a magically amazing weekend. I love you and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.